All right, y'all, today's lesson is on gridlock, speed run. This is my take on gridlock. I wanna give a huge shout out to Maticon, Loki 71K2, Big in the Game, Lolly Force, Quiet Nine, Grizzled Hulk, Flirty Pink, Dr. Swaz, Self Moore, Sniper Legend Mike, Slaughter, and Dr. Vision. I do appreciate y'all helping me get this done. This is going to be a four stationary run with the ball spawning in the main spawn. I use two ha uh, two siphon soldiers. You don't really need the hammer if you know what you're doing. Uh, first up is going to be the first soldier. His spot to stand is going to be right here near this graffiti on the wall. And he's going to plant. The left side spawn ammo box. Needs to plant one grenade right there on the curb, another nade right there, and more nade right there because this spawn is pretty much a straight out spawn, and one grenade right there because that's a very light side of the spawn. And up here where the scout stands, he's going to need to plant one nade. Right there on the wall, because they have a spawn up there. <clears throat> the second soldier will plant the right side ammo box. Plant one on the door of the truck. One on the green patch. Another one on another green patch right here. And one on this piece of paper. One on this grate right here. And this square, this spawn over here is more or less like a square. His spot to stand is going to be right here on the third column, back against the wall, towards the edge of the steps. Next up is the engineer slash sniper spot. You just got to be in this tower against that wall at the beginning of the wave. He will need to help with the spawning up here. You can put a weapons locker. That's the spawn area. If you put a weapons locker right there on that rock it will reduce the amount of spawns up here it won't stop it completely but it will reduce it and one sentry right here will help protect the scout Got it. Uh, this is swarmac tested and carrier tested and snatcher tested because they will spawn right there on the ammo box put one right there facing spawn put another one on this hood Face and spawn also. And put your last century right there. It's a very light spawn over here. But they do spawn pretty frequently. And the boss decoy, you need to at least put it on the edge of that door right there. Right there. And for this side, recommend putting that century right there. Facing the spawn, the yellow car basically back there. And you can line up your sentries right there a little bit. I recommend having about four sentries on this side. Now, there is a decoy you must buy in the beginning and place it right there on that rock. This is an active spawn area, but with the decoy, it completely not locks down the spawn. Now, the scout spot. Like I mentioned earlier, you do get spawns up here. It is a regular thing. If you're crouched, they will not worry about you. They will aggro to the sentry. You'll run down, click the power in this spawn, this spawn, then you will head to the fabricator. Don't worry about the power that's going to spawn next to you. The fabricator will be right there. And you will backtrack to pick up that power. Because it's a very light power. It is like two or three stacks at most most of the time. You just pick it up, get back to your spot, and start over with the wave. The care our Kestrel will spawn right there above the siphon soldier. All the other bosses will spawn there.
next is the fabricator location. You just put it at a 45 degree angle, middle of the fab, goes at the end of the K-Rail. It's not really peaky, but that is the best location for it. <clears throat> this is the scout spot. See they're spawning up here. I'm standing up at this point. But crouching over is better. You see just one spawned up there. No problems. I click this power. Get this spawn. Luckily, I think somebody may do a beat down. May not. Beat downs are sometimes your engineer's best friend. I left the hair a bit early, and you will get a spawn behind you, which is okay. See, there's a few stacks still left on the field. All I do is hit the fab and just run back to my spot and pick up that extra power. I just wanted to show the concept of what the scout is going to face. Alright, this is the engineer spot. You just crouch against the wall right here because if you don't the act to spawn beside the scout will shoot at you quite frequently see I got my one sentry up here my weapons locker now here I haven't moved up my sentries just yet to, to get a around the boss I got three centuries for the left spawn, and I got four centuries for the right. Or five, sorry. And play around with it. I'm not going to tell you this is how I do it. I don't expect everybody to do This is the sniper spot. I recommend pulling up voice or overhead map. Here in this, you just ping and strike. You see they're spawning on the ammo boxes just fine. And this also allows any wild spawns to be detected on an early notice. And if you get crawlers, as soon as they get up, hit a strike. Easy kills. This is the main soldier, or left side soldier. That one nade up there. That one behind the ammo box. That one right there. Another one right there. See, I got a grenade on the other side of that. And get back to your spot. There's a decoy over here just in case we do have wild spawns, but don't need it. I'm using my TACCOM right there to actually check if my grenade went off. And that's to save you some time. If you know it didn't go off, don't go up there.
This is the right side ammo box soldier. Plant one on the truck. I intend to plant two. No problems with that. Hitting the key areas. And getting back to my spot. Fairly simple. Next up is going to be some boss clips. That's me pushing the decoy up as an engineer. Do a quick little bit of repairs before the boss wave. Touch a single sentry, you can touch the decoy. Sentry reloaded. Sentry repaired. And I actually, as engineer, I get the locker and I will definitely shoot a salvo into the spawn. This one's going to be a Kestrel and he will spawn above the soldier. It was a very nice wave because it was a 42 second wave. But I do appreciate y'all staying tuned and hopefully there will be more speedruns to come.